Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another flip through video. Um, so I'm going to do something special. Uh, as most of you know, I presume, um, there's an event right now that Marvel started, uh, which is called Absolute Carnage. But before that, um, Marvel did another Carnage event, which was called Maximum Carnage. It was a 14 parts story and uh, it's essentially the story is that Carnage takes control of New York City and he recruits a bunch of supervillains and then Spider-Man needs to stop him and you also have a crew to help him out. So I think this is, I, from what I remember, this was a pretty big deal back in the days. Uh, so... Once again, no reviews in these videos. I'm just flipping through the books. So today we're going to be looking at uh, part one, which was in uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. And then we're going to move to Web of Spider-Man 101 for part two. And we'll finish this video with uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 378 which is part three of Maximum Carnage. All right, so uh, we'll just go through the characters that we will see in these flip throughs. So the heroes are Black Cat, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Venom. The villains are Carnage, uh, Sh Shriek, I believe that's how you pronounce uh, her name, Double Ganger, Demo Goblin, and Carry On. And you also have Appearance, from Iron Fist, Cloak, Dagger, Deathlock, Morbius, and Firestar. All right, so we're just gonna start with uh, part one. Uh, so this is a cover. Uh, it's by Ron Lim. It's all right. Uh, I've seen uh, better covers, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's what we have to work with. Um, all right, so begins i think uh Cletus is in uh ravencroft max a uh, maximum security security prison but before we begin uh let's look at the uh, creative team for this issue so we have uh, tom defalco as the writer ron lim is the penciler jim sanders the anchor chris iliopoulos letters neil uh nell I'm sorry, Yumtov, the colorist, and we're going to skip the editor as usual because they keep messing with our stories and we don't like this. So, um, begin strong. We have uh, Cletus being ex escorted with a bunch of uh, prison guards. And we know what's going to happen. Uh, everybody thinks that they got rid of Carnage, but they haven't really. Uh, as soon as uh, a little blood is... I think what, happen, what happens is that this doctor here gives him some sort of a vaccine or just take uh, a blood sample. And because Carnage is actually... Uh, the, the, the symbiote is actually bound to his blood, he can just, you know... Um, becomes carnage almost at will. So this, he just like snaps the guy here with his like like a symbiote stick, and then he's loose, and he's just going on a carnage. Haha. <laughs> so. <laughs> Carnage is essentially a crazy murderer. He's just going around and killing a bunch of people. And obviously, Spider-Man doesn't really like it, so he wants to stop him, you know. There's just some more fights, some more fighting, more Carnage. He just pretty much killed every, all the guards, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to kill the Doctor as well. And, uh, yeah, that's where he finds a sh shriek and uh decides to team up with her i think he's 
he admires her or something because uh, she has some interesting powers and he just wants to team up with her. The lovely Mary Jane lighting a cigarette. You will not see this in current Marvel. You will never see that, actually. They're too, uh, they're too PC now. Alright. Little flashback of, uh, Cletus and Eddie in their cell when, um, Cletus was, uh, infected by the symbiote. Here they just remember the fight and how they got rid of him and all that stuff. Here you have, uh, is that, I believe this is, uh, could be wrong, Demo, is it Demo Goblin or Double Ganger? I'm not sure. Yeah, so that's Demo, oh no, that's a Double Ganger, I'm sorry. Alright, moving on. Now Spider-Man gets in their way. He's fighting um He's fighting Double Ganger. He looks like uh it's probably like a a proto superior Spider-Man cuz I think I never read I never read the Superior Spider-Man, but it's kind of the same idea with the multiple arms and all that stuff. Cool panel here. Mary Jane smoking. They could get away with a lot more back in the days. The good old 90s. And I'm pretty sure this is it for Maximum Carnage. This looks just like a, some sort of flashback story. Yeah, the cardiac. It's a cool feature, but that's not why we're here. So that was uh, issue one of the event. So we're gonna move to issue two in Web of Spider Man. This is a different. Uh, this is on New Sprint, which is interesting. So in this issue, the creative theme is as follow: We have uh, Terry. Kavanaugh, Alex uh, Saviuk as a penciler, Dunn Hudson, inker, Steve Dutro as the letterer, Bob Sharon is the colorist, and yes, we're skipping all of the editors as usual. Cloak and Dagger, here to help Spider-Man. Cloak is a pretty interesting character. He can like protect people, I believe, and escape and things like that. So lots of action in here. Lots of fighting. I like it. It's a pretty uh, revealing uh, costume the dagger is wearing here. You know, the good old days. Some more fighting. If <laughs> you have a double ganger is trying to strangle Spider Man. Shrieks fighting cloak. Daggers fighting double ganger. And then. Spider-Man, <laughs> he's just in all kinds of trouble. Wow, that's a nice mustache. I'm jealous. And as the fight goes on, Carnage uh, comes in and, uh, you know, makes sure that his side of the of the fight wins.
Whoa, that was close. Dagger gets hit by a blast from Shriek. Shrike, Shriek. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Alright, so this was uh, issue two. Now we're going to move to the last issue for today's video. Uh, so part three of Maximum Carnage is in The Amazing Spider-Man 378. Amazing cover. Again, if you just hide Spider-Man here, makes it even better, I think. But that's just my opinion. I'm not an artist. Alright, so creative team for Amazing Spider-Man uh, Maximum Carnage Part 3. We have uh, the usuals for uh, Amazing Spider-Man at that time. David Michelini, Mark Bagley. Um, on ink, we have Randy Emberrun or Emberlin, I'm sorry. On letters, we have Rick Parker. And on color, we have Bob Sharon. And this is when um, Venom comes in. He wants to be part of this. So the Spider-Man's team is trying to regroup because, you know, they got beat last time in the last um, issue. And now they want to get their revenge, I presume. And uh, they need some help, obviously. So Spider-Man decides to go on his own and see what he can find. You got Sh Shriek looking all sexy. And then you have uh, Double Gangers and Carnage joining her. Mary Jane again with a cigarette. She looks nice, you know, pretty 90s style. Thin. Nice shapes. You know, she's just a comic, but you know. That's what sells. People don't seem to get it. Yeah, see, so... Peter's pretty beat up. He have this bandages. These bandages all over his uh, ribs. So he's probably got hit pretty hard. And then, you know. You can tell that MJ had enough of this whole Spider-Man thing. Or she's starting to freak out a bit. And she's crying and... She's getting all emotional here. Looking uh, nice. Both of them, actually. You know, these are like, you know, this is what you want to see in superheroes. You know, you want to see things like this in superhero comics. You know, uh, guys with muscles, sexy girls, you know, that's what sells. Uh,. Just uh, let people enjoy the escapism. Oh, here we go. So here we introduce Demo Goblin or Demo Goblin. And then, um, oh, what is this? Is that Venom? Nope, that wasn't Venom, but now Venom is coming in. He's probably going to save the day here because uh, Demo Goblin is, has uh, Spidey in his grip. But no, you know, Spider-Man punches him. Patlow! What's the... Oh, there's no sound effect. I just made one. That was cool. And then 
you know, carnage is just going, you know, <laughs> killing people, rip, ripping people in half here, it seems, and just killing a bunch of people on his way. And then he meets Venom. And we know what's going to happen. Uh, he's ambushed. That's not cool. And, uh, you know, Peter and MJ back, back in the apartment. And then... Eddie's there and he's like, holy shit, I need some help. And then MJ is looking all sexy and stuff. Come on, Marvel, where? Why don't you do that anymore? <laughs> you can see uh, Peter little uh, slippers looking nice. <laughs> all right. So that was, uh, that was Maximum Carnage Part 1, 2, and 3. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button. If you like that kind of content, please uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. I, I think I just got my uh, 15th uh, subscriber. I'm really happy about it. Uh, it's a slow climb, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, if you guys have some comments and feedback, please make sure to drop them in the comments section below. I would really appreciate. Uh, I'm trying to get better at this. And if you guys have ideas or uh, books uh, that you think uh, would be interesting to flip through, let me know. I'll see if I can get them. And if I do, I will gladly do a flip through for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.